So it's the 1st of December today. I had a lion this morning because it was our Christmas work to do last night. We went to some medieval place. It was um, interesting. It was fun. I took myself home for about half 11, was light nicely wrapped up in my duvet by midnight, but I really needed the lion. So yeah, this week has a little bit been a bit weird with the whole family thing. I know I'll come back from it. We'll come back stronger, better than ever. I think I was just having a, like a bad week last week and I just needed to vent of out my feelings. Um, but yeah, life is too short and let's hopefully move on. But yeah, I was speaking to a few friends about it and I think I'm not being oversensitive. I just think we need to see this perspective and only time will tell. So 1st of December, which means Christmas this month. Yeah, um, I didn't open my advent calendar this morning. It's a wine advent calendar, so don't really think I should be opening it in the morning, because I'll drink it. So yeah, I'm dog sitting tomorrow with my Gussie. Uncle Kyle is going to be taking care of his Gussie Gussie, which is my one of my best friend Lewis's dogs, so I can't wait for that. Lots of cuddles. I also have two very important announcements to make. Not about myself, but um, my big sister, Francesca, she told me that she is pregnant for the first time. So congratulations to Francesca and Prashant on their pregnancy. And speaking of babies, my beautiful cousin, Siobhan, and her husband, Jody, gave birth to their baby boy. So yeah, Theo. So I can't wait to meet him over the Christmas period. Can't wait to give him cuddles. And Siobhan actually asked me to be it. Well, Theo's, I don't want to say it because it's not born, but yeah, to be Theo's godparent. So yeah, I will be a godparent for the very first time. I hope to shine light, wisdom, and sass to baby Theo. I'll do my best. <laughs> Flatmate Chris has been away for like three and a half weeks now to Australia. He's back tomorrow, so make sure the house is clean. But yeah, I hope you can have a great time, so I'll be able to catch up with him. But yeah, overall, don't really like the fact that I'm feeling a little bit shit about the family thing. Um, I want it to be resolved. I sent a message to my sisters about it, saying like I'm going to stop putting... That was a big burp. And I think I take a little bit of a second in that burp. Um, yeah, I've just uh, tell them that I'm not really making, I'm not making all that effort like I've done this year and last year. Um, I don't really think they understood the message because I got like, have a good Christmas, which indicates that they think I'm not coming up for Christmas well, and I am. I'm not going to, I'm not going to make myself, I'm going to lower myself to that sort of way. And like, oh, I'm not going home for Christmas because I'll, I'll regret it because I love going home for Christmas and seeing my family and yeah, I'm not going to do silly things like that. But yeah, I just... Mm -mm. just wish it was resolved. So I'm having a Christmas soiree party this month um, on the 8th, which is a Friday, 8th of December. I'm just going to ask, because the Disney party was such a great get-together, good turnout, and everyone just actually appreciate the fact that people can just pre-drink somewhere, so this time we're going to have pre-drinks and then go out. Probably going to go out around Clapham and see how that goes but yeah anyone who couldn't come to the Disney party gonna come to the Christmas soiree and then yeah we're gonna go out so that'd be something fun something good because after then I think everyone's just gonna disperse and go off and do their own thing for Christmas wherever it'd be like with their families and stuff so it'd be a nice little um, get together thing but no dressing up I think we've all done enough dressing up to last a lifetime plus I want to dress up in January I just added, I've told Benita that I want to go out in drag in January because what else is there to do in January? Apart from go to the gym or start a new diet, new me, new year, new me kind of shit. Fucking hate that hashtag. But yeah, keep your eyes peeled for those photos. And I'm going to go and see Matilda next week with this guy that I've been kind of seeing. Not kind of seeing, I've been on one date with him. But I we speak pretty much like every day or so, I'll just message each other. He's nice, genuinely nice guy. I see potential in this one. But I see potential in everyone, fucking hell, until they fucking attack me. Speaking of, that scar is looking like an actual scar. I'm thinking about getting a tattoo on it because 
never again some chubby vegan is gonna attack me. But yeah, so then um, I hate saying like new guy, but yeah, the new guy is genuinely nice, very polite, very sexy. So I guess we'll see. I think I'm seeing him over the um, between the Christmas period because I'm off between. I'm going up north on the 23rd. I'm coming back to London on the 29th probably. And then who knows what's going to happen for New Year. I think that I'm having, well, I think Benito and Paul are having a house party, so that should be fun. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. if you like these videos, then press the like button. Yeah? Whoa. And if you want to subscribe, click subscribe. Because Gus would like you to do so. Thanks for watching, guys.